Computers have been using random access memory for over 70 years now. The first version of it was the Williams tube, designed in the 1940s and has changed in so many ways over the years, from being this static producing CRT enhancer to being the small stick that we know of today. Over the years, and over many different variants thereof, the usage and usefulness of RAM has increased by leaps and bounds. As far as capacity goes, the first variant of SRAM, or static random access memory, could only carry one single bit. But in today's world, the largest stick of DDR4 SD RAM can hold 64 gigabytes of data at any given time. DDR SDRAM. This stands for Double Data Rate Synchronous Dynamic Random Access Memory, and that is a mouthful. So you can see why it becomes abbreviated. But what does it actually mean? Well, let's break it down part for part. First off, you have Double Data Rate, the DDR. This means that the computing bus can transfer data on both sides of the rising and falling of the clock signal. So as the signal goes, let's say, back and forth like a metronome at high and low states, it's sending data at both sides of the swing. But don't let this confuse you with the idea of dual channel RAM versus single channel. We'll get to that in a future video. The next part is the synchronous dynamic random access memory. This, in simple terms, means that the RAM syncs up with the designated clock speed set by the CPU, and then dynamically changes depending on need and how active the pipeline of process is. But RAM, we've talked about in the past. Check out my RAM versus ROM video, linked above. But coming back to DDR SD RAM, as a whole, this form of memory changed the game. Because way back in the 1980s when IBM started building and testing their first dual edge clocking DRAMs, they found that they could effectively double their transfer speeds if they made the DRAM to transfer data twice per cycle instead of the traditional single transfer per clock cycle. Because of this discovery that was later perfected by Samsung and SK Hynix, we now have these ridiculous transfer speeds of today. 25.6 gigabytes a second, and soon to be even faster, essentially doubled with the impending releases of DDR5 SD RAM just around the corner that's speculating to have over 51.2 gigabytes a second of bandwidth. The leaps and bounds that technology has come is beyond amazing, and when you look at just the sheer size of the Williams tube versus a, a single DIMM, of DDR RAM. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. What did you think was the coolest part of computing history? What do you think the best advancement for us was? If you liked this video, please be sure to do so and subscribe for more content in the future. Otherwise, you can catch me tomorrow playing Crying Suns, one of my favorite Space Age RTS games, or on Sundays with my Apex Legends live streams with Eggs and Sneaks. Until then, I'm Waylon. And this is at the PCs. Thank you.